Good morning. Hello, Instagram. It has been a minute. Good morning. Good morning. It's Coffee Talk. Dunder Mifflin. So welcome, welcome. We are on day seven, and I have been doing a 12-day Facebook challenge on my inst- um, my Instagram, on my Inner Gaze Yoga Facebook, um, and I haven't been here on Instagram, so I'm coming here on Instagram just to tell you about it. Um, this is day seven, and we're transitioning into the inside relationship to the outside relationship. So if you are just now joining on Instagram, I'd love for you to go back, go on Facebook or go on my inner gaze studio platform, and you can sort of follow along. I think it's a really good ponder. And for those of you who've been coming, I love it. I love your feedback. I love your questions. I love that you are doing this mindful awareness work. It's not easy, but it sure is fun. So today is day seven, and as promised, we are moving from this relationship we're building with ourselves to what's happening outside of us, what's happening out there, okay? So your ponder today is to look at what attracts you and what repels you, okay? What what are you liking? What's turning you on? What's something you're noticing? What's something you gravitate towards in um, your relationships and to the people you cross paths with? And what are the things about them or the things that turn you off, that repel you, that make you not really interested? I want you to take a little deep dive in that today in two phases. Number one, as a lover, right? Because as I've mentioned before, who we are as a lover, who we are as an artist is us at our most honest and genuine, authentic selves. That's our creative, playful, vulnerable place. So sexual, sensual, and creative self is a, is a part of us. that's really the most authentic. So I want you to look at it in the lover. Who are you sort of attracted to? What kinds of traits turn you on? What are you looking for? What are you seeing in the people that pass by you? Hi. And what, um, what's repelling you? What turns you off? What are something that someone does when you're just not attracted to them as a lover? You're just, just not what you're looking for and turning you off. Get to know yourself that way. And the reason it's so interesting is because sometimes we're so ingrained with what's familiar that we keep staying in the same sanskaras. We keep staying in the same patterns. And so what we're doing today is we're taking a pause and going, do I still want to be attracted to this emotionally unavailable people? Do I still want to be attracted to someone I got to chase down? Do I still want to be attracted to someone who is whatever it is for you that you're sort of addicted or um, not very nice or whatever it is, right? What are the things that you are noticing that you are naturally attracted to and you're naturally repelling? And is this the way you want to be showing up as a lover, right? And then as a friend. Okay, or, or a close uh, partnership, however you want to look at that. How are you attracted? What do you like in a friend? What do you need and want in a friend? How do you, uh, the friends that you feel really close to, that you have strong connections to, what is it about them? You know, for me, I was saying last night in our inner circle, if someone makes me laugh, I'm in, like I, I'm ready. I just love senses of humor. I, I think that to me is a, is a strong, strong bond. What is it for you in your friendships or even in your, in your loverships? And then what repels you when, when a friend does something that maybe they tell a secret that you've said, or maybe they put you down somehow, maybe they are um, sort of sarcastic and you're not into the sarcasm or whatever it is, noticing that and see what is attracting you, what is repelling you in your lovers, as well as in your friendships and see, is this still who I am today? Am I still attracted to these traits? Am I still repelled by these traits? Or maybe do I need to open up some of my thoughts about it? Okay. Hi. I don't know who that is. Hi, Jay. Nice to see you out there. Um, if you have any questions, I will see you for day seven tomorrow. Um, Instagram, you're going to go look at my uh, inner gaze platform or check it out on Facebook. And thank you so much for pondering. Our healthy habit is relationships. 12 day challenge. We're on day seven. I will see you soon. All right. Bye. Bye.